Mario. Hello, buddy. This is your one and only boy, Lava Sister 77. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys something very, very cool for MCP. So, without further ado, let's just get started straight up into this video. So, then again, guys, I really want to apologize for not being on YouTube lately. I've just been super, 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 oh my god, just so busy with work. And, you know, just so much has been happening this week. So, uh, yeah, honestly, it's just super duper crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and upload more on this channel, guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. Don't ever think I'm gonna leave this channel. But yes, yeah, so we're we're gonna be taking a look at some news. So if you guys have not watched my last news video on MCP 1.3, then definitely go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah, so the first the first topic I want to be talking about is Mojang. So I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you actually no no okay so. I'm going to be separating this video into three different categories, so I'm going to actually be showing you guys some ga leaked gameplay of MCP. So the first thing I'm going to actually show you guys is the four new mobs that are confirmed to be coming into MCP, then the leaked gameplay, and then talk about why the s Mojang is upset with the modern day of Minecraft and the new horses that are going to be coming into MCP. So I'm also going to leave a link to another YouTuber in the description below. He actually goes by the name of True Triz. I'm going to go link, link him in the description below, just because many of the sources that are in this video actually do come from True Chris's channel because I actually watched some of his videos and I'm gonna be basically expanding on that and you know just basically be saying what my opinions are on this particular topic and yeah so without further ado let's just get started in this video so if you guys want to go subscribe to True Chris, definitely go check him out he really could use a shout out for me he's like 800,000 subscribers I mean I could really help his career grow I mean I'm, I'm just joking guys that was some really bad sarcasm but okay whatever so yeah we're, we're just gonna get started straight up into the video so the first thing we're gonna actually talk about is the new mobs that are going to be coming into mcp so my, i'm actually going to be playing a video on that right now so yeah there it is all right so you guys can see we're going to actually be testing out the gameplay of this particular update so yeah guys um yeah so right now we're just out of the news i actually am recording this after the news after i did record the news video so yeah, I'm just gonna basically be showing you guys a brief little summary of the gameplay. So yeah, I'm gonna actually disable the shader pack as of now. It's actually called the Pluton shader. So I'm actually gonna censor my thing right now so you guys don't see. So we're just gonna actually enable the resource pack. And yeah, because I don't wanna show you guys these shaders yet, just yet, because I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. I'm gonna be making a video on that. So definitely go check, uh, I'm gonna just stay tuned for that because it's gonna be coming out very, very soon. So yeah, just a little disclaimer right there, just in case you guys were probably wondering why I censored the resource packs. And yeah, so what we're going to actually do is, what I, or what I'm going to do is actually enable the behavior pack, I believe. So it's right over here, so let's just continue that. And they're just going to go do that really quick. So I'm just going to be, I'm going to be going as quick as I can in this video, just so I'm not wasting y'all's time. And yeah, so what we're going to do is just wait for this to load. And I'm just pretty much going to be showing you guys how it looks. So yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so as you guys can see, the world has successfully loaded, so this is how it looks. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, this is how this is how the world does look. So, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is, so yeah, I'm actually currently using my iPhone 7 Plus because as of now, I, my NVIDIA Shield K1 is actually charging right now. So And as you guys know, the NVIDIA Shield K1 actually tends to lack battery. So, the first we, we actually just bumped into our first mob. So, the first mob right over here, actually a spoiler alert, this is how the first mob does look. I'm, I'm actually going to take out the spawn egg just for the just for the hell of it so we're gonna what i'm actually gonna do is actually find the egg if i can actually find it okay where is it i'm not sure why my gui is actually in this two uh pocket edition mode because it's actually supposed to be in classic mode so i'm not sure what that's about so the first one is the ray so that's pretty cool stuff so the next one we have is uh a thing i have no idea what to call it okay that was a funny thing <laughs> that the creator did do so pretty pretty cool stuff uh yeah so this these mobs were actually not implemented by the creator of this particular uh resource pack it was actually made by mojang themselves he just leaked it basically and you know pretended you know this is how it's you know is gonna look but yeah and then here's the blaze king so yeah 
the first thing we're gonna actually spawn is the ray so this is how the ray does look i don't know what to i don't even know what to say about this i'm gonna actually i don't know i don't I honestly don't know what to say about this it looks really really weird okay it's actually flying i'm not sure i don't know i i don't i don't see this being in minecraft i i mean i don't know if it's gonna be underwater or if it's actually gonna be on the sky but i personally do not per prefer this i just don't like the way that mechanic works so the next one we're, we're gonna actually look at is the water so yeah i'm gonna actually go and try and put this in the water and see if that makes a difference so we're actually gonna go and place it down and i'm not sure if it can swim because there's like no space whatsoever for that thing to swim in the water but yeah that is that is the ray for you guys if you guys are wondering but yeah what we're gonna do next is spawn the <laughs> thing that i have no idea what, what to call it so yeah no one knows what this is called I think it's like some kind of dinosaur thing. I honestly don't know. It's actually kind of cute to be honest. I was actually expecting this to be much bigger. But then again, because because of its gigantic head, it's obviously going to be small. I mean, that was supposed to indicate to me that it was small. I just, I guess, it, I don't know, guys. My logic is just so bad. Like, my IQ, I swear to God. But yeah, um, okay, yeah. So, there we go. So, that's that's how that looks. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. I will actually be doing a small little gameplay test with these mobs also. So, what I'm actually going to do is find a ocean biome or whatever. Okay, so, we're, we actually have a titan squid. So, if I could, actually could find a ocean part, I, I would actually love to spawn this. But, obviously, I can't. So, I'm just going to spawn it here. I could have just generated a seed for that. But, I just, I don't know why I didn't do that. But, yeah. So, what we're going to do is actually spawn the titan squid. So, this thing is an absolute beast. Just take a moment to look at this, guys. This is just absolutely insane. I don't even know what to say about this. It would this would fit more in a ocean obviously but due to the lack of space in this particular river we're obviously not able to have some hectic feedback from the squid so we're not we're i don't know guys that's that's that so uh, yeah and then after that we have the blaze king which a lot of people just seem to be hating this thing is an absolute beast so you guys can see this is how the blaze king does look it looks absolutely op i mean i actually kind of like it the the personal two that i personally prefer is the squid as well as the blaze king the titan squid and the blaze king i just and, and then first comes the the squid thingy and then after that comes this the uh, the the blaze king and then after that just comes this really cute little dinosaur puppy thing i don't even know what this is it's actually kind of cute i actually i actually like it but it looks like it actually can hurt me but yeah i'm not even gonna bother messing with that and then we have this this stingray which comes in last which i think is just absolutely useless and just completely dumb and doesn't even fit in minecraft in my personal opinion but yeah that's that so what we're actually going to do is set the game mode to survival and yeah so what what i'm going to do is set my game mode to oh no okay slash slash okay so actually oh my god i can't i can't even see i'm i'm, I'm like really sorry guys so yeah what i'm actually gonna do is actually equip a diamond sword if i can if i'm actually not okay you know what i'm just gonna set the game mode to survival I'm not going to spoil each and every individual one. I might. I don't know, guys. Just due to the lack of time, I, I, I can't really do that. Oh, my God. Okay, this thing does. Oh, this thing just hit me, and it's just making me fly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like this one. I don't I don't think I like. I don't, this isn't a very cute thing. Oh, dang. This thing is fast as hell. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, I just I just died. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to actually set my game mode to uh, creative. If I can actually... Okay, and I'm gonna actually get one back. So we're gonna, we're, the next thing we're gonna actually do is find how the ray does look. So we're gonna actually just spawn that in really quick. So you guys, I don't know, guys. I I, I really want to see this in the update. I per, I don't know, guys. If Mojang could add all of these, that would be awesome. Well, an exception of this ray little thing. I'm not sure if these are hostile or passive. I'm pretty sure all of these are hostile, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna actually set it to peaceful. So we're gonna actually kill it. If it's okay, this one's not gonna hurt me. Okay. This, this guy this guy is pretty nice okay so next up we're gonna set our game mode to uh creative and we're gonna actually go and obtain another spawn egg so we're gonna our next one is actually gonna be probably one of the most op ones actually no i'm, I'm i want to see how the titan titan squid looks because i've never seen that and i was actually about to say titanium i'm not sure oh uh, why i was about to say that it was really weird but okay so we're gonna actually go back to the river really really quick so let's just go and find our river really really quick really really quick come on come on come on so yeah if you guys want to skip this part like then again just skip this part feel free to skip it at any time i honestly don't care so what we're gonna do is just spawn this this bad big bad guy in. i don't know oh oh my god okay oh dang did you guys just see that look at that that was actually pretty crazy okay so we're gonna actually set our game mode back to survival and okay let's just let's just see and try and attack this i'm pretty sure this is hostile 
I'm not sure, I'm pretty, this is right now just replacing the squid, but I'm pretty sure what if this does get implemented into the 1.3 update, I'm pretty sure it's going to actually attack you, because this thing does not look friendly whatsoever, I'm, I promise you 100%, I'm sure this thing is going to at least attack me. This, this thing better attack me, otherwise this would just be absolutely useless, but I want to see, I'm just out of curiosity, I'm wondering what's going to happen if you actually kill this, I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen, I'm not even going to spoil that, it's just a waste of time. So yeah, let's go see our next and last but not least mob, which is probably one of the most overpowered mobs that anyone could hate in Minecraft, which is the Blaze King. So I'm going to actually obtain this right now in my uh, hand. So yeah, so two of these mobs are passive and two of these are actually hostile. So the the Blaze King is also hostile in case you guys were wondering. I mean, obviously, why would, why would a Blaze be, uh, you know, uh, uh, passive? I don't know. So we're going to actually spawn this bad guy in and bad boy in. Where, where, where did he go? Oh my god, okay, I'm not I'm not sure why this isn't spawning. It's supposed to be spawning. Okay, let me let me actually try and set my game mode back to creative. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I'm gonna actually quit title really quick. Okay, so let's actually go back to the world. And yeah, so that's how it looks in MCP. So let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this. Honestly, I think that's actually pretty cool. Uh, let me actually spawn this guy in. I just want to show you guys how this looks, how this, how this, how this dude looks. Um... Okay, yeah, guys, I'm not gonna show you guys the Blaze King. You guys know how it is. It's it's absolutely OP. That's all I can tell you guys. It's just it's 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 a beast. Okay, this thing is not something you guys want to mess with. It's ten times harder than killing a normal blaze so definitely stay away from this i highly advise that you guys do stay away from this thing but yeah i'm, I'm gonna end off the video here hopefully you guys enjoy this part of the video we're gonna actually get back into to the news so yeah i personally prefer these titan titan squid i just think that'd be a more neutralistic thing i i really feel like the ocean lacks many mobs in minecraft and i feel like this could be a nice little addition to you know have in minecraft this would just be something kind of cool to have and then the blaze king i just don't want because it's just too overpowered and that other thing is actually that other little cute baby thing is uh i don't, I don't like him now he's just he's just too fast he's just gonna kill me and then the stingray is just it's useless i mean what's the point of this this is the worst mob you can actually get in minecraft I'm, i know for a fact no one's gonna actually like vote for this because this is just such a useless mob but yeah, guys, I'm going to end off that part here. So we're going to actually get back into the news. So there you guys go. All right. So you guys can see that was the four new mobs that are confirmed to be coming into MCP. So some of this is kind of old news. I'm pretty sure if you guys have been staying up with up to date with the MCP community and the MCP news, then you guys should already know this by now. This is this has been done a week ago. So yeah, this isn't anything new, but this is something I just wanted to point out in this video, just for the video's sake, because I do have something that is just about three days old, if I do say so myself, which yeah, I'm going to actually show you guys right now. So, yeah, the, here is the four new mobs that this this information was actually released a week ago, and you guys can see we have four new mobs, so they were actually revealed, and they actually did, like, were revealed with color. So, the first one on the top left of this screen is, I guess, like a... I don't know what it is, at first I didn't know what it was, but once the colors of the particular texture was revealed, it was actually like some kind of squid thing I believe, and then the other one was like, on the top right was like a, I think a stingray, and then on the uh, bottom left is like a dinosaur thing, I have no idea what that is, but when I first saw it I thought it was like a, like a gigantic dinosaur, but it's actually a lot tinier than it looks, and then on the bottom right is the blaze king I believe, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. But yeah, that is how the that is how the mobs do look. So pretty good cool stuff. So yeah. And I'm actually gonna be showing you guys, if you guys did not know recently, this was actually released into MCPE. So yeah, guys, it was actually made by another add-on creator. I'm actually gonna link him in the description below. Definitely go check him out. Just go check out his Twitter. Just go talk to him and ask him on how he even made this. I mean, this is just cool. So he actually did make a concept and actually made these mobs functional. So that's really, really cool. So I'm gonna actually show you guys some gameplay right now. Yeah, currently right now, so you guys can actually see a small little glimpse slash concept of how this is going to look into MCB. I'm going to actually show you guys some real game penalty. This is going to be coming in. This is actually going to be in, into, implemented in the 1.3 update by Mojang. 
not right now but whatever mob we do choose but y'all this is where you guys vote this here's all the four different mobs that are going to be in the mcb and what and then once everyone does vote on minecon earth once minecon minecon earth comes everyone is actually going to vote and say which one of those four mobs they want and then after that once you guys the, the footage in this video you, you guys are going to see the four different mobs and you guys basically get to vote and uh you know pick one mob and then vote at minecon which is november 18th and right now it's actually november 11th so y'all do have plenty of time just to show you guys how the mobs do look and y'all can definitely pick it out and then w w there's going to be basically one of those mobs a 25 percent chance or, uh, se sorry, my bad, a 75% chance that one of these mobs are going to be implemented into MCP, so it's actually pretty crazy. So, yeah, a lot, a lot, I, I don't even know what to say, guys, this is just absolutely crazy, so, yeah, that, I'm going I'm to actually show you guys the gameplay right now, so, yeah, here it is. Alright, so as you guys can see, that is how it looks, pretty, pretty cool stuff, so, now what we're going to do is actually quickly, I'm going to actually show you guys what, another news, so, if you guys did not know, Mojang is actually currently upset with the way minecraft is functioning right now so if you guys did not know i'm not i'm not sure if this is 100 percent uh, real news so please don't uh, believe me on this particular topic because this one i just found from another youtuber that goes by the name of true trace definitely go subscribe to him but yeah um so without further ado let's just get started in this topic so yeah if you guys did not know i did he you know he basically basically in this video true trace explains that Minecraft right now, the Mojang, the developers of Minecraft do not seem to be happy with how Minecraft is functioning now. Not necessarily how it's functioning, but how the, I guess, the skins are in Minecraft. So, if you guys did not know, in the 1.2.5 update, there was actually a new thing that was released on the 1.2.5 beta. And that was actually implemented, and that was the ability to actually uh, obtain, uh, like... Uh, new 3d slash 4d skins and it was actually integrated in that update so yeah it's actually pretty pretty cool so yeah you can just do so much with that and i personally think that's awesome and basically in this video he explains that mojang actually does not agree with how these skins work and i'm speaking because it, i mean he was actually like playing because if you guys didn't know, know there were some recent skin packs that were released that where you could like actually play as a block and it actually worked on lbsg and all those other uh servers and it uh, it was actually pretty cool so you can actually disguise yourself as block and crouch and camouflage as the block and you can literally just be almost invisible and literally people no one can actually find you so i thought that was actually pretty cool but then again there are some disadvantages to that so that is why mojang is actually upset about that that's what he said in the video that's what he was basically explaining now personally i think i i think also not only that but also mojang just wants to make more money off of us and actually be able to do that he also did actually explain the, the, what i just said he actually did explain that mojang also wants like for instance the cape mojang wants the minecon skin cape or whatever to actually be an exclusive thing and they're not happy that people are i guess supposedly customizing it and uploading it to servers and stuff mojang actually seems pretty disappointed so yeah they actually want to take out the feature and just make it to where only minecon skin capes i guess only have it i don't know i think that's a stupid feature in my opinion but i do see where they are going with this i do kind of agree with them but i still do think they should give us the ability to make 3d slash 4d skins into mcpe but maybe just add some limits such as actually being able to not being able like a certain limit i guess i, I don't know i don't know guys hopefully you guys can understand what i'm trying to say but I, I don't know just to where it doesn't become a block you know I, you know what i'm saying like kind of like that but yeah that's how that is and yeah so that's that's what mojang that's that and then next up actually he does make a video on uh horses so yeah guys so mojang actually not just true trace but if you guys actually do check in this tweet he does there is a tweet where is actually said if i can actually pull it up it actually says uh from jeb i believe he says as Dinnerbone mentioned, there will be Minecraft Java Edition snapshot today. This screenshot will include a new horse model. And then this was actually posted November 8th, so about two days ago. And yeah, so basically you guys can see this is how the new horses look. So I'm going to actually show you some gameplay from True Trees. I'm going to actually leave the link in the description below. So if you guys want to go see that gameplay, definitely go 
and uh, check out his video but i'm just gonna be posting a few screenshots so this is how the new horses does look pretty pretty cool stuff in my opinion well not necessarily cool because i actually do kind of have some disagreements as well as a bunch of other youtubers that have a disagreement with this i don't like the new model i personally prefer the other model as opposed to this new model i don't know let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about that but that is that for this video i'm gonna pretty much end off the video here i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment and give me your opinion on this video as well as subscribe if you guys are new to the channel i want to thank each and every guest for watching and i'll see you later Bye bye